Today I'm going to talk to you about my side business. And this is one of the ways that we'll be making money when we're on the road. Right now, I do it part time and just for fun, uh, make a little bit of money, probably a couple thousand dollars a year on doing this. So my side business, which I've been doing for almost three years now, is uh, a wood burning business, or pyrography is the technical name of it. But it's wood burning art, and so basically I take a piece of wood, I draw a drawing onto it, and then I burn it uh, with some wood burning tools. Basic wood burning tools that uh, you can get from any Hobby Lobby or Walmart or whatever. I do have uh, one tool that is uh, a little higher end and it's used for more detail and uh, mostly for portraits and things like that. So I, uh, I have a workstation which is pretty mobile so it'll be able to go with us when we hit the road. I'll show you that in a second. But um, it started off as just kind of like a, a thing where Leslie was like, hey, you know, you're artistic. I know you can draw. You ever thought about doing this wood burning thing? And we just picked one up at Hobby Lobby with a couple pieces of wood. I started it and kind of took off from there. So I do a lot of charity work with it too. I do some pieces to, to get auctioned off uh, for charity and things like that. Um, but here's the, the step number one, what you gotta do is you gotta find something that either you want to burn, it looks really cool, or something that someone requests that you that you burn. Most of the pieces that I do are very custom and specifically requested by the buyer on what they want, what they want it to look like, what the wording they want on it, things like that. So I don't have an Etsy shop currently. I do have some pieces that I do that are generic that anybody could buy, uh, which I could put on the Etsy shop and probably will once we hit the road, but just don't have enough time right now to manage an Etsy shop and work full time and everything else that I have to do. So um, most of the pieces I do are custom and they are specifically requested uh, in, a in a specific design. But every once in a while, I'll just find something that's really cool that I want to do and, and I'll do it. So step one is to find a design or get a design that you want to do. What I do is I look on the internet and look for designs. If uh, someone has a specific design that they want that I can't find a design for, then I'll draw it um, freehand and then I'll burn it onto a piece of wood. But most of the time you can find something online. It, it's just a time saver. Um, I could hand draw everything that I do, but it would just be super time consuming. So the name of my business is Wags Wood Tats. And the reason why is because once I draw the image onto a piece of wood, it kind of looks like what the before looks like of a tattoo when they put the purple stencil on you before they actually start the tattooing. That's what the before looks like. So step one, find, a, find an image. So the image I'm gonna be burning today um, is the comedy and tragedy skulls. Found this image online. So I'm gonna burn this onto a piece of wood. I already have it drawn up. I did add the, uh, the wording to it on the, on the piece of wood. So this is what the before looks like. And like I said before, it, it's just the outline. So it's kind of hard to tell what it's gonna look like after it's burnt because none of the shading, none of the detail, none of the line work is complete yet. But this is going to turn into something that looks a lot closer to this. And hopefully it will turn out well. Uh, just by looking at this one, it's probably going to take me in the neighborhood of two to three hours to complete this one. Um, about the same time frame that it would for a regular tattoo. So the, uh, the time is about equivalent to what it would be for a regular tattoo. So let me show you my workstation. Here's all my supplies, wood plaques and pieces of wood. Uh, of course the radio for listening to music while I'm burning. These are the burning tools that I have mounted onto the side of the, the table. These are my wood burning tips and I have a little pair of pliers to change those out because the tips are super hot when you're changing them out. A little fan back here and they, that's not to cool me off that's to pull the smoke away from me as I'm burning the smoke comes up and gets sucked into the fan and that's so the smoke doesn't get in my eyes while I'm burning I do have a little elevated table right here and have some contact paper on there that's basically like a drawer liner that you would put in any drawer for your utensils and it's just so the piece of wood will stick up on there without uh, moving or sliding around and then I'll keep my 
reference piece of material right there or I'll tape it up onto the wall so I can see. I have a light so that I can see what I'm doing. And over here I have my gloves because the tips of those burning tools get very hot. So I wear gloves. I also wear gloves because if you transfer oil from your fingers onto the piece of wood and then burn it, it will burn unevenly or irregularly and you don't want that to happen so I wear gloves to prevent that also. This is the tool that I was talking about where it is used for more detail and portraits and things like that. So I use that uh, from time to time. I won't be using that on this piece today because I'll mostly be using my shading tool. Um, this was a more expensive piece and uh, Leslie got this for me for uh, I believe it was Father's Day or a birthday or something to that effect. But anyway, this is a, uh, a very mobile workstation. You can see this table will fold in half, the, the legs fold up. I just have a folding chair with the pad and this right here. So all this will fold down into a very small space. So when we do hit the road, I'll be able to take that with me. I'm going to be doing some, some time-lapse photography uh, when I'm burning this piece so you can kind of see uh, how it goes through the process. And um, I'll show you the final product when I'm done. See ya. I'm done with the piece. I started at 1 o'clock. It is almost 4 o'clock right now. It's actually 3.50. So it took me 2 hours and 50 minutes. Uh, I anticipated 2 to 3 hours of burn time when I started. So um, pretty much right on the money. I did take one short break for about 5 minutes just to stand up, stretch, get a drink, and then uh, back to it. So you saw the before and the drawing and the concept that it came from and here is the final product. So it is complete, done, and signed on the back. So pretty happy with how it turned out. A um, couple rough spots in a couple of different places, but just like you probably would doing a tattoo, I've never done a tattoo, but just like you would on a tattoo, uh, you can't unburn what you burned. So um, you find creative ways to hide your mistakes and make it look like it's uh, something that you're meant to do. But from this concept um, drawing to this final burn, I'd say it was uh, pretty successful. And it was pretty fun. Three hours fly by when you're, when you're doing this because it's just a fun way of relaxing and uh, decompressing. It's definitely a stress reliever. So I had fun and I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing uh, the side hustle and uh, the business. It's going to be fun to take on the road and a fun thing to do while we're out there, uh, you know, set up outside and just kind of enjoy nature while I'm burning. It's going to be fun. Looking forward to it. Uh, thanks for watching. See you.